Loader. Hey guys, this is Stefano from Video Game Hunters and welcome to episode 2. In this episode we'll be video game hunting at some new locations plus I pay a visit to my local game trainers. I begin video game hunting by stopping at a new Salvos location and come across some PC games. Let's see what else I can find. Looking through DVDs, I find Sniper on the PS3 for $3.99. At the front of the store, there's a stand with some common PS2 games at $4.99 each. Looking through the CD rack, I come across some PS1 games. Sledstorm for $1.50 Formula 1 for $2 Rugrats in Paris for $1.50 When video game hunting at the salvos, I always check to see that the right game is in the case. Here are some cool Ninja Turtle books for 50 cents. I have a look inside the glass counter at the front of the store and I find some more video games for $4.99 each. I don't have a Tiger Woods game in my Wii collection, looks like I might have to pick this one up. Here we are at a new cash converters location. Here are some great Sega titles but they're a bit overpriced. Looking through a great variety of N64 game cuts, nothing too exciting in this lot. Here is a bunch of GameCube games with a few decent titles. I picked up a complete Pokemon box Ruby and Sapphire for my collection. Here are some good priced Wii U games. $39 for Super Mario on the Wii U is a great price and I had to pick it up. Here are some box Atari games, nothing too special. Here I am at my local Kmart who are currently having a video game clearance sale. Let's see what they have. Some great 3DS titles at $15 each. Link's crossbow training game and Zappa for $12 is a great price. I think I might pick a few of these up. Animal Crossing with Wii Speak for $12 is another great deal. Finally, we have arrived at my local game traders. 
Game Traders is an Australian-owned video games retail franchise specialising in new and pre-played games, consoles and accessories. They always have a great variety of Super Nintendo games. Here are some more great Super Nintendo titles. They have a huge variety of Game Boy games. A nice selection of Dreamcast and Sega Saturn games and also a few boxed Atari games. Here is a selection of some great PS1 titles. Now we have arrived at my favourite part of the store, the NES games. I picked up Gremlins 2 on the NES. Here are some common PS1 games. There are some great priced N64 cards in this section. The PAL version of StarCraft on the Nintendo 64 is extremely rare. I have seen cards sell for more than $150 on eBay. For $79.95 I should have picked up StarCraft on the Nintendo 64 as I've seen a box copy recently sell for $685. That's crazy! The coolest item in the store was a limited edition Club Nintendo Peach 3DS which was only given out during a Club Nintendo promotion and was not for sale in retail stores. I found some boxed NES games on Gumtree and made a great deal with the seller. I bought 9 games for $90. Castlevania 2 Simon's Quest Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Adventure Island Part 2 Super Mario Bros. 2 Super Mario Bros. 3 Track and Field in Barcelona Airwolf The Flintstones, The Rescue of Dino and Hoppy. Dr. Mario. I haven't finished yet, I found some more boxed NES games on Gumtree for $12 each. Track and Field 2. Raiga. Double Dragon 2 Double Dribble Defender of the Crown <laughs> 